the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory is best demonstrated using a FET simulation for which there is a link below where this allows us to see in three dimensions what happens when atoms bond to form molecules and how those molecules arrange themselves in three dimensional space. So here in purple we have our central atom and we can attach bonding and lone pairs as and when we wish. So we start by adding a bonding pair where we can see this is the atom that is bonded to our central atom and the stick represents the shared electron pair between these two atoms. Now when we add another bonding electron pair we can see by the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory that this bonding electron pair is repelled by this one and as a result they want to arrange themselves as far apart as possible in space and so we can see that the bond angle here is 180 degrees and the shape we would say here is linear. By adding another bonding electron pair we can see that once again the bonding electron pairs repel each other as far apart as possible which makes our bond angle 120 degrees, the maximum distance that these can arrange themselves. And that then gives us the shape or molecular geometry of trigonal planar. We can attach a, another bonding electron pair and here we can see that in three dimensions the maximum distance that these molecules can be separated by or these atoms is 109.5 degrees which is our bond angle and we say that the shape or the molecular geometry is tetrahedral and so these are known as the basic shapes when the central atom has two bonding electron pairs we say that it is linear when the central atom has three bonding electron pairs we say that it is trigonal planar and when the central atom has four bonding electron pairs we say that the shape is tetrahedral. What is now possible is it is also possible to instead of placing bonding electron pairs on our central atom we can place a lone pair and a lone pair is also two electrons that are negatively charged and those electrons will repel with the bonding electron pairs. So what we can see here is that although there are only two atoms attached to the central atom, that lone pair makes the shape look more like the trigonal planar and gives it this bent or angular shape, which is why we say this molecular shape is bent or angular and it has the bond angle that is associated with trigonal planar, that being 120 degrees. In reality, we find that this lone pair actually occupies more space than the bonding electron pair and so we often say that this is slightly less than 120 degrees. We can also do the same from our tetrahedral shape where instead of having four bonding electron pairs, we now have three bonding electron pairs and one lone pair. So as we can see, this is similar to tetrahedral in that the bond angle is 109.5 degrees. But we say now that the molecular geometry here is trigonal pyramidal as we can see it forms this pyramidal shape and because it comes from the tetrahedral shape we can see that the bond angle is 109.5 again in reality it is slightly less due to the space occupied by that lone electron pair we can then remove another bonding electron pair and replace it with a lone pair and here we can see that when the central atom has two bonding electron pairs and two lone pairs we once again have the bent or angular shape the difference now is that this bond angle is less than 109.5 because there are two lone pairs that are occupying space on the central atom and as a result all the bonds are pushed closer together so in conclusion we can see that there are five shapes that we need to know the first shape is when the central atom has two bonding electron pairs and no lone pairs and that is the linear shape with a bond angle of 180 degrees. The second shape being trigonal planar when there are three bonding electron pairs and no lone pairs and a bond angle of 120 degrees. The fourth shape, the third shape being tetrahedral when there are four bonding electron pairs, no lone pairs and a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. These first three are the simple shapes because they do not include any lone pairs and they are also symmetrical which becomes important when looking at molecular polarity 
and then when we start placing lone pairs we find that a central atom with two bonding electron pairs and one lone pair has the bent or angular shape and a bond angle of slightly less than 120 degrees and we find that when the central atom has three bonding electron pairs and one lone pair the molecular shape is said to be trigonal pyramidal and finally when the central atom has two bonding pairs and two lone pairs we can see once again a bent or angular shape the difference now being that it is closer to 109.5 degrees because it comes from the tetrahedral shape and these bonding electron pairs occupy more space.